Hi Year 3, it's Monday morning but actually it's Sunday and I'm recording this video for tomorrow. So I'm at home and this is Joshua and he loved Mr Hoyle's riddle because he loves riddles so he's got a riddle for you too today. Joshua what's your riddle? Well it starts with an E, ends in an E and only has what letter? one letter. So what starts with an E, ends with an E but only has one letter. If you can solve Joshua's riddle and email us, you get five extra house points today. So I'd look forward to hearing you. Right, Joshua's going to go and carry on doing some drawing and I'm going to go through today's lessons. So say see you later. Bye. Shall right. I tell them the answer? No, don't tell them the answer. Okay. I'll tell you who's got good answers and then um, we'll have a look at it later. Okay? okay. Right, off you go. Bye. Right, so Monday's lessons, we've got four lessons for you today and hopefully you've had a lovely weekend. I didn't say that at the beginning, but um, hopefully you've had a good rest, you've had a little break from learning and you are ready for the last week before half term. So there's one week of home learning left or school learning for those of you that are in school and then um, we've got half term so that's nice isn't it we've got a week off um, home learning a little bit of a break from learning so uh, four lessons writing first writing you are finishing your entry log plan today and you need to remember to include loads of detail so Mr Hoyle's put some really handy slides on for you that you must look at. You must go through the slides because it's really, really going to help you. One of the slides has got a video and it's got all different animals that live in the jungle. It's got their names and the sounds that they make as well. So that might inspire you to choose an animal that you might see on your adventure that you might write about in your entry log. Um, and you are going to complete your plan. So again, Mr Hoyle's put examples on there. You're not going to start writing yet, but you've got to make sure that your plan is ready to go. So you're ready to write. So when you get to the end of your plan, go through it again and do a blue pen, pen edit. Do you remember when we've done those before? Which is when you get your blue pen out and you make the, the work that you've done even better. So you might add an adjective in or you might check your spellings if you're not sure about whether you've spelled a word correctly. You might include another idea. Make your work even better than it is already. Okay. You've got reading and it's another two texts. The text for Monday and Tuesday is called Amazing Facts About the Human Body. It ties in perfectly with our science topic. And today is your vocabulary day. So you're going to be reading the text, following some clues um, for vo vocabulary and then defining some of the um, tricky vocabulary in the text. Maths is lovely. You're starting geometry um, work this week and you are thinking about terms. Now, some of you might know some of the vocabulary for today's maths, but some of you may have never heard it before. There's two keywords to do with the direction. That's clockwise, which is the way the hands go round a clock to tell time, and anti-clockwise, which is the opposite direction. And then there are the names of the turns. So you're doing a quarter turn, a half turn, a three-quarter turn, and a full turn. And that's all explained again in the slides. So make sure you go through the slides, make sure you watch, watch the videos because the guidance will really help you understand and if you're able to I would sometimes um, stand up and physically move your body turn your body to check that your answers are correct that's what we're going to be doing with the school learners um, and then you have got a science lesson this afternoon um, and the science is about animals including humans again and you're thinking about muscles now you know we have muscles and you know your muscles make you strong and keep you strong and your body wouldn't be able to move without them this uh, lesson explains all that so you'll find out what muscles are how they work and that animals need muscles in order to um, move as well and then at the end of the lesson, you're going to complete some text, putting in some um, words to make sure you understand. And we would like to see your um, paragraphs. So four lessons for today and a riddle. So there's potentially uh, 25 house points there for you. We would love to hear from you. We want you to send your work. We want you to email us with photographs from each lesson and um, 
have a lovely day do something um for yourself as well so uh, go for a little walk with a family member or play a game or um write a poem or um, even play on your electronics for a little bit but not too much stay in school mode because it's the last school week and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon can't wait to see all your work take care and see you later